Okay, we're gonna do steering cable. Actually, I just did the steering cable and people were asking about it. I wish I had filmed it when I was doing it, but um, I will walk you through it because I've done it about five times. It's roughly every five years I have to do it. We are the original owners of this 98 Sunsetter. Um, so we pull up the back, with the back seat out, you pull up the back panel. I'm gonna hold back cushions off right now because we're redoing upholstery. The, you have to undo the rudder down under here. Um, and what you can do, you can just reach back and grab it and pull it forward like that, okay? Which is turning it all the way right, I guess it is. Um, that brings the bolt up close here where you can undo it. It's on the bottom here. Uh, I believe it's 7 16 maybe it's a half inch. Right under here, here's your steering cable. Whoa, whoa, don't keep it there. Um, the uh, Here's your steering cable, the bolt right here. So you take the, the, or the nut off here and the washer behind it. Um, and once you get that off, then push it back all the way back the other way, which I can't seem to do right now. You can use the steering wheel, steering cable too, steering wheel too. Push it all the way back the other way. That gives you enough play between this, the pivot, this point and the mount to flex the cable down and off that bolt. Um, once you get off that bolt, they have this uh, hose clamp here. That's just a safety to keep this on. Loosen that, slide it down the cable a little bit. I actually pull it all the way off because you're gonna be replacing the cable. You'll need it later. And then undo this. Um, this might turn. Um, I, if you see back here with these threads, I just grabbed this with some vice grips um, to keep it from turning when I, un when I undid this. Um, and once you have that done, this will all come out of here. Um, you can you can yank it out here. It's still gonna have to sit here. But what you do, that hole at the end where you pulled it off the bolt, put a rope on it, just a little, some small rope, it doesn't matter. It makes it easier pulling the new one back through. Um, make sure it's like, this This is a 19 foot cable for a sun center. Um, any of the places you buy it from, Bakes, Ski Dim, whatever, um, they can help you if you can't figure it out. If you have a different boat, if you have the skier, or not the, not, it's not the Sunsetter, whatever, um, they can help you. But um, yeah, it's a rack and pinion, uh, 19 foot for the Sunsetter. So that's what you do here. Um, and then we have to go up under the dash, under the dash, and you can pull it all through and then feed it back. Um, but the, under the dash is the hard part. Okay, now here's the, the front end of the steering cable replacement. You have four bolts up under here. Um, I think they're also actually 7 16 if I recall correctly. Let me roll under here. So there's your steering column coming in. And then here are your bolts. They come from the top right there. Um, so this, the, this rack just sets right down on top of the, the pinion right here, which is on the shaft. Um, so you're going to do those. Uh, we'll get the steering wheel alignment. If you're like me and, and want to make sure that steering wheel is back straight, we'll get that at the end. Um, so pull those four off. Um, I have some wire zip tied to it. I don't remember if there were some originally, but I added the amp in here for some tower speakers and whatnot. So I, I zip tied them across the top. So I make sure everything's off of that. Um, <clears throat> and make sure your lanyard's not wrapped around it like mine. We won't talk about that. Um, and then... So then that will be loose. The cable goes behind the side wall over here and then around. I have a heater, so that makes it even worse up here, right? Because there's it's kind of cramped. It comes down and under the heater here. The wall that's on the other side of the walkway through the windshield, um, I have a heater thing there. But down underneath my heater thing, there is a hole in the floor that it goes through. Um, so that's not so bad, um, but the hard part is the straight part at the end of the of the steering cable is stiff. It's a rod, um, and so there's barely enough room to get it between the bottom of the floor and the bottom of the boat. Um, so what you have to do, I'll show you when I get out here. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm gonna use this as an illustration because like I said, I've already replaced the cable. Imagine this is this, the part of the handle is the, the hard part, or the stiff part of the um, steering cable at the end, right? Which is the, the rudder end over here. So you're going through a hole up here and you have the, uh, the stringer, we'll call it, and the bottom of the boat here. So it's getting stuck between the two, right? It, and it's, it's tight in there. So as you're coming through, what you have to do is you have to flex the cable here, move it a little bit. Release, flex, move, flex, move, right? To get the, to work the thing out. 
there's a, only a couple inches in there that it gets caught on that's really tough the rest of the thing is easy but those couple inches the first time took me about six hours i've gotten about an hour faster every time i do it uh last week when i did it it was about an hour and a half from the time i started unbolting bolts to the time i was done putting them back together so i'm getting a lot better um so same thing going back in it's gonna get jammed you're gonna go flex push down flex push down it's like inch it through um and then also it'll get easy again so once you get it make sure you tie that rope back on it um and then once you get past that hard part then it's best if you have two people one person can pull that rope it just helps it get through there's a um under the engine compartment there's a a hole it comes through um if you have the rope, it just guides it to that hole a little bit easier and keeps it from getting stuck. Um, you can reach in and move it around if you want to, but I think the rope's just a lot easier. Um, so that's a quick part about that. Now, when you put it back together, um, everything's reversed. But what I do is um, I go, usually I go behind the boat and put the rudder what looks like middle. And I'll just put the steering, put the four bolts back in up at the steering column. I'll take it to the lake. And if it doesn't, uh, let's go over to the steering wheel here, Megan. Um, and if you drive it on the lake, if it's not quite straight, the great thing about these, they have the bolts. I kind of eyeball those. If it's like that, like last week I had it like that. I went, oh, okay. It's like that. So I can line it back up like this, hold it there, undo the bolts, turn the wheel, and put the bolts back on it straight again. So pretty simple. Uh, that's my method for doing it. So there's a, a Malibu Sunsetter steering cable for you.